Hi guys. Picked this up for 79 pence in the charity shop. I'm going to convert it to radio control. But first of all, we're going to make it rubber band powered. That axle's quite bent, isn't it? So at the very least I'll have to try and straighten that. So it's got a name on it. Uh, K-A-L-M-A-R-S-U-N-D-S -S. Gruppen Kalmersund's Calmers, Gruppen Can you see that at all? There we are. Well I managed to get the wheel off eventually had to pour boiling water in it to soften it so that I could get it off the knurled shaft I don't know if it's worth trying to save that axle or not. Looks better. Not that keen on putting this back on at the moment because if I'm going to convert it to radio control, I think I have to get it off again. I also think I need to make those holes bigger for the axle. Or put a tube through it so that the tipper isn't directly on the axle because having the tipper and the chassis both on the axle as soon as one's out of line a bit it's adding friction so that one's fine where's that one quite draggy. So we'll stick a rubber band on it see if we can make it rubber band powered first of all. So rubber band around the back axle is easy enough. Just wrap it round itself so it grips itself and then wind it up. Question is where do we attach it at the front? I don't really want to go drilling holes in it at the moment. Could. Yeah, I know what I can do. That's a fairly simple, non-destructive way of connecting to the front, under there, as I say, round the axle so it goes over itself. That'll hold it in place. I don't think we're going to get very much distance with this, so... Because we've got no grip and quite a bit of friction, but we'll give it a try. I suppose I ought to try that little tripod to hold the camera while we do it. I expect to get no grip at all and just wheel spin. But we'll give it a try. I can always put some weight in it, I suppose, see if we can hold it down that way. Or I'll put some sort of rubber over the wheels.
Well, that went a hundred percent better than I expected. I'll go up there and send it back. Well, that was a real surprise. Somehow we got far more grip from those wheels than I expected. Because it's quite lightweight. Brilliant. Rubber band powered uh, dumper truck, I suppose we'd call that, wouldn't we? Still convert it to radio control at some time. I've got quite a few other projects at the moment. And tripod worked okay as well. It's a little bit light and sort of plasticky. Very lightweight. But for the purpose I want it for, just playing around in here, I think that's fine. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. My second channel, Grandad's Other Channel, is where I put the longer videos with more detail. Then there's my Facebook page and you can follow me on Twitter. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. And if you fancy some Grandad merchandise, I have two shops, one on Redbubble and the other on Cotton Car. Finally, you can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.